In this video, I'm going to show you how to use keyframes on your CapCut PC version. So this tutorial will be helpful for both platforms, for Windows and for Mac. It doesn't matter because these tabs are quite similar. So all you need is just to open the CapCut and then just create a project and move the video on the timeline. So after that, we can just start to play with our keyframes. So how can we do this? Basically, all you need is just to uh, select the necessary video you want to add the keyframes for example this one uh, Now I have only one video in my project But if you add a lot of them you just need to choose the necessary video you want to add keyframes So let's mute the clip audio by the way So uh, click on the video on the timeline with the left click and as you can see the white border has appeared It means that we successfully uh, we successfully selected our video so uh, what does the uh, keyframes do? Basically, they just uh, uh, they just mark two of different um, stages in video. For example, if you want to zoom or zoom out, so uh, the keyframes can help us. Uh, so uh, let's get started. How can we add the keyframe? So in the right top corner in this menu, we just need to click on video and then click on basic. For example and after that if you want to change the position we want to add the keyframe so we just need to click on this uh, button so add keyframe and after that here as you can see on the timeline it has appeared like a blue uh, blue rectangle or something like this it's right up here so after that we can just choose the necessary uh, next moment for example here and choose the other keyframe Select the other keyframe right up here. But to make them work, all we need is just to change something from this position to this position. So let's change, for example, scaling. For example, let's zoom in. And as you can see, if we'll try to play this video like this, we can see that now it successfully zooms. And as you can see, this parameter changes right up now. And after that, then we uh, come over the keyframe. Our changes will, will not act at the same way so as you can see we passed the keyframe right up here and after that nothing changes so this is the uh, advantage of the keyframe so after that for example when we moved from this position to the next one we can just change something else for example we can uh, try to zoom out try to add zoom out let it be like this it will be a little bit faster so if you'll try to watch we can see that before keyframe we are uh, zooming in and after that we are zooming out and as you can see now it's much much uh, faster because the time between these two stages is less than right up here and the parameter changing much much faster so uh, this is the way how we can add different keyframes um, i showed these simple examples but i think that the you understood the functionality and you can use it for yourself so basically for example the next uh, we can just delete the keyframe right up here. Sorry. Um, we can just delete the keyframe. So choose the necessary part. So here. And we can just click on uh, delete keyframe. So now it will be successfully deleted. Uh, we can also change the full clip. For example, we want to move it uh, from uh, from here maybe to to move it higher or something like this. So we can just also do this. Basically, we can do different options with the uh, keyframes to rotate our video to change the position or something like this. Uh, so guys, I hope uh, this video was useful for you. I have a lot of different tutorials about this program in this playlist. I suggest you to watch it. If it was helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and write your comment. Goodbye.